the busy life of the house can be a challenge to cope with and leave people with no personal space. It's something that Luke, Noel and Sue's 20-year-old son, has been dealing with for years. It's a bit of a war zone. Yeah. You'll want to be alone and just talk to your friends, but then they'll be they'll just all rush in and start shouting weird things at you. Finding the time to take care of yourself can be tough with so much going on. Especially emotionally. Luke has been struggling with something important for the last six years. When I was around 14 is when I pretty much knew, and it's from there I've always wanted to say it, but there's always been something said or something happened where I've just, you know, my confidence got bashed and that was it. Luke is so lovely. He adores his family, loves the kids. He is very opinionated. He can be actually quite argumentative. He, yeah. Sometimes he'll argue black to white. Luke may have the support of a large and loving family, but some things are still hard to discuss. I, I can't describe how taxing it is on you to hold it back for so long. It's hard to tell my family because they're the opinions I cared for the most. It's not fair for me to have to go through it. Just live a lie and not be you. If to pretend, it's just not fair. Oh, hooks. Good girl. Give it, give it, let go. 20-year-old Luke has been struggling with something for the last six years. You have to come to terms with yourself and make sure you're comfortable and ready for the worst of people's opinions before you can freely tell people. And it's been a mental game to try and get there until now. Luke now has to open up to his family. I sit down, chat with mum and dad. I don't know how people can ever do that. That's... With so many people to tell, Luke has chosen to break his news in a very modern way. A post on social media. When you say something different or act different to the so-called normal, you judge differently. So when you, as a person, are different, it becomes hard to have full control over your self-feelings. Some people will view you differently, some people will love you more, and of course you have the people who just don't care. At the age of 17, I really questioned who I was as an individual, and at the age of 20, I feel concerned with who I am. I'm bisexual. That's me, my core, the part that makes me function the way I do. To all those who support us, I can't thank you enough, and to all those who look down on us, I wish your ignorance clear soon. kind of... I don't know, it ma makes me feel good reading it. It makes me feel good being able to say it out loud. It's very emotional, isn't it, you know? It is, it really is, that's you how know. A, that's how a little Luke yeah. has written that. Hello, we're just reading your post, Luke. It's really good, really powerful. And so you go and sit outside where it's a bit quieter anyway. Come on, compliment. Let's go. No, but you are really good with like writing and like words and stuff, aren't you? You're very articulate, Luke, which is not what I am. Oh. Is that the word for it? That is the word for it, actually. <laughs> well done. <laughs> so does it come as a surprise that it took me a while to finally be able to do something like this? You have to be comfortable with when you choose to share it. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it makes any difference whether you're straight, gay, by anything. So long as yeah. you are happy, that's all that matters. And that's all that should ever matter, isn't oh, it? Exactly, yeah. yeah. It's a relief for us, you know, that yeah. you're That you are comfortable with who you want, you to, want be, to be. Yeah. We're just really proud of you, Yeah, aren't very we? proud. Really yeah. proud. Luke coming out was really lovely, actually. And I mean, and I said to him, I, I knew I'd known for a long time, so I was like, I don't even need you to tell me. I know you don't like hugs, Luke, but come on. I don't. Give come me on. a hug. I love you In a family this large, it isn't just mum and dad you need to think about. Come on, bring it in. Here we are. <laughs> and Luke isn't sure that everyone will be as understanding as his parents. 
Come on, Morgan. Jack and Daniel I'm worried about the most. And it's because they're my two closest brothers in age. Safe, safe. So I was worried what they would think. Me and Luke are definitely close to each other. He's one of the people I'm closest to in the family. So yeah, we do talk to each other a lot about stuff. Yeah, yeah I guess you could say it was a bit of a surprise when you came out. Does it change anything with the way I see Luke? This God. We're coming in to see. Come on. Come on when I found out he finally came out, I was happy for him. <laughs> they were both like, oh, you know, you're my brother no matter what. Like, you know, there's family, like, why does that even matter, kind of thing. The best thing about having a big family is that you've got that support network. You've got so many people yeah. to support you and have your back for you. It's like the biggest relief. I just feel free. I can't think of another word to describe it. You can just be you. And it's like, I, I know me and I'm comfortable with me. Can I just borrow the brush a minute, Archie? The Radfords are preparing for a big day out. 20-year-old Luke has just come out as being bisexual. You want one there as well? OK, then. To show their support, the whole family's going to Lancaster Pride. It feels amazing watching them all do it and actually wanting to go. It just shows the support, doesn't it? Wow! <laughs> I've actually never been to a Pride. I've not even seen them how they go. So this would be quite interesting. It's not just a new experience for Luke. What is the gay pride? Well, it is to show your support for equality and... No matter what your feelings are or anything like that, you should all be treated the same. That you don't treat people differently, or however different they are. Exactly, exactly that. that. I don't think I would go to these things without a big support network. I already knew my family's the best support network I've got, really. Flags made and faces painted, it's time to hit the streets. <laughs> Lancaster Pride has been running for five years. And today, the town is packed. I didn't think there'd be as many people as what there are, to be honest. Because it's where we live, it's a bit dead. That's actually quite busy. I actually like it. On the way here, I was just thinking, because it's still fresh, I still feel slightly uncomfortable, but when you're here, it all feels normal, it's right. For the whole family, the day's a real eye-opener. Oscar said, are we protesting? I said, no, <laughs> we're celebrating. The little ones are just having a great day out. I think it's great to bring them to something like this, especially when they're as young as they are, so they, they grow up understanding. It is really important to show them that no matter what in life, you know, they'll always have the support. Just be who you want to be in life, you know, and don't let anything ever hold you back. And I think Luke is proof of that. I don't feel judged, I don't feel different when I'm there. You just feel like all these people fully understand who you are. So yeah, it meant a lot to do that.